Hello there, and welcome to the Badger Reviews. I'm your host, Badgie the Badger. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Race for Sun, an endless runner developed by Flipfly for the uh, PC, I think it's on the Mac, PS3 and PS4. It's a fun little game, and one definitely worth looking at. It was very under the radar, but it seems to be one of those indie darlings that everyone seems to rave about. So, with all that said and done, let's go have a look, shall we? Whoosh! So, here we are. This is Race for Sun. This is your main menu, developed by uh, Flip Flyer Games. There's options and configure ship, and obviously play. Configure ship, this is where you do most of your editing, depending on what power-ups you want. You unlock power-ups as you progress through the game. It is pretty standard stuff. The magnets allow you to collect your items. Easier items include jumping and um, warp shields. And the tries. Tries are point accumulators. Uh, you know, jump storage, how many, how many you can store, how much, how long you survive in shadow, and all that good stuff. It's quite good. These are the badges. Don't be really note, just make your ship look cool. Play. As you can see from here, there are three play modes and the playable end credits, which is uh, quite nice. I like playing on end credits, like Devil May Cry 3, and kicking the crap out of all those demons at the end. You unlock these two later on in the game. Uh, pretty, you know, that one, uh, I think it's about level 10. You reach level 10. That one you unlock at uh, level 25 once you finish the game. This is your basic box standard game. Let's go in. Now, before we start, I will say that on the right hand side, there, when it says level 25, you do, um, going up, have several objectives uh, to reach different levels. These objectives can be anywhere from, anything from, sorry, um, accumulating a certain set of points during one round, or, you know, say, using three jumps over the course of how many other games. It's all pretty basic. The gameplay is Endless Runner style with you, Racing the Sun. It's, I'll, I'll have to admit, it's pretty addictive overall. I got this myself through the uh, PlayStation Plus, and uh, I just put it on for the laugh. I, I didn't think I'd be enjoying it, but I found myself getting uh, strangely uh, addicted to it. It's quite good. Graphically, it, it's basic, you know, just color palette seems to work. Uh, there's a little portal down there, you can see it on the right. Um, you know, there's blacks and whites with the sun in the background. As you progress through, the sun begins to set and the color palette changes to a, uh, a purple and then a, a red color, which is uh, quite nice. It works. It's minimalist, but it works. Yeah, this is when you want to look at graphically. It's, uh, as I said, gameplay-wise, it's yet endless runner type. As you do progress, the object, you know, those yellow things, by the way, um, those help rewind time so you can go for longer throughout the world. And I've just entered a void portal. You unlock void portals and things like jumping later on. Uh, you start out just being able to pilot your ship and getting points and just. It gets better the more you play, I will say that. It's one of those games that I wouldn't say requires patience, but uh, it can be difficult. But you always seem to find yourself going back to, uh, you know, what more go. I had a, uh, an appointment the other day for a job. Yes, yeah, batches have jobs. And before I had to be ready and off, I thought, oh yeah, I, I've got about half an hour, let's play this for a bit. No, I didn't play it for five minutes, still waited to the interview thing, the appointment. But yeah, you, you just find yourself coming back to it all the time. I mean, it, this looks easy enough for me now, um, but as I was going through, it was quite difficult. Especially picking up these, you know, it gets easier. The, with the more power ups you have attached to your ship, I'm missing a power up. I should have three in there pink thing here that I've just picked up that allows me to warp should I uh, crash so yeah the 
whole layout starts changing the, more, the further you get. I've only ever got to level 5, round 5. You've not got any further than that. It does get more difficult as it goes on. It gets faster. There are more obstacles. Um, one thing I will say for the game, it, it's not been the same game twice. Um, well, it is, but... Every day the uh, layout of the tracks change. You know, flip fly, change the track up each day. So you look on today, and this track is like this, and you, you start getting used to it. You start being able to get to perfect regions, as you can see the sun setting right back and the color color changing. That's uh, not quite like that. Anyway, so you start getting used to the tracks, and then uh, you put on the next day, and it's a completely different track. So it's got some replayability there. Oh, it's getting tense. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm just going to silent. I'm trying to concentrate here. But, uh, yeah, it's a really fun, addictive game. I can't say anything else other than that. It is quite difficult to start with. You do really get used to it. But the more you play, the more you become adept at it. Uh, the more adept you become, the further you're able to get to try and build up a nice little perfect point score system. Hello. So you got a dove or a pigeon or whatever that is. That was a pigeon. So you now the sun's setting on me and I'm going to make it to... Aha! Uh, Aha! No, I missed it. Ooh, you son of a bitch. See, my solar energy there was depleted, which meant I had bugger all left. When your solar energy fully depletes, you just crash a ship. You go down to Chinatown. Cripple town. It see now the speed's getting quicker and quicker. I've never really been a fan of endless runners, but those who do like it will probably get a good kick out of this. It is, like I say, challenging, it's fairly cheap. I got this on last month's PlayStation Plus. I'm still playing it now. Small shall we? Actually, it's first. There we go, we'll have that on. Apocalypse mode is like the really hard difficulty. And this too changes every day um, along with the normal level layouts. Let's see. Aha! First region beat. Cheater, cheater. Cheetah, cheetah, fast in here. Fucking evil. Oh, that was fucking evil. Let's, try, let's give that another go. So yeah, I'll admit, this, for the first review, this is quite poor. There's not really much to see in the game. It is basic. Graphically, it's basic. But the sound design, however, the sound design is quite good for what it is. UFOs and shit. I'm not keen on the soundtrack. Uh, I'm not sure about the PS3 version, but uh, with this PS4 one, you can actually use Spotify, and uh, there's nothing more exhilarating than going in, you know, getting on some Rob Zombie, you know, the Sinister Urge, Demon Speeding, and uh, yeah, 
Yeah, that kicks ass. But the main soundtrack is okay. The sound design of shit blowing up around you, it's very minimal, but it works. It gets the job done. So let's just uh, have a go here. So this has changed since I last played it yesterday. Would I recommend you buy this game, though? That's a, uh... Yeah, I'd recommend it for an endless runner. Shit. That's Labyrinth Mode. That, that apparently... Labyrinth Mode, by the way, is the only mode in this game that can be beat. The rest is endless. You, you go as long as you're good at. You know, as long as you can stay alive, you keep going this one, there is a way to beat it. But it is quite evil. It changes. It's massive. And when you get to the later stages on it, you do get just dodge shutting on you. Yeah, it becomes really evil, so it's this is definitely more of a memory test. And it's like what the hell do I do now? See? No clue. Anyway, so that is Race of the Sun. It's a fun little game. And yeah, I definitely recommend you play it. If it's cheap, buy it. Obviously so. Only way you can do, unless you uh, have a friend who is willing to game share with you. But yeah, I, I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. So yeah, Race of the Sun, there it is. It's a fun little game. I definitely recommend you try it, if you get the chance to, of course. Anyway, you've been watching the Badger Reviews. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more of my future endeavors, or just me messing about as I do, like, you know, battering a car, then click subscribe for more. Also, if you like to leave a comment, tell me my video was crap, or what I could do better, or what you would like to see in the future, then do so. This has been The Badger, for Badger Reviews. Toodles.